What's going on my dummies and welcome back to a Digimon Deck Tech! In today's Deck Tech, I am super excited about it. It is Rust Tyranomon, easily in my top 5 favorite Digimon of all time. And this deck has one of the coolest combos I've ever seen. Green's combo with this, it, it's insane and I love it so much. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into this. So the first po uh, Pokemon, no, this is Digimon, focus dummy. Alright, the Digitama that we are playing, we are only playing a four of. I do not like Tanemon, and it's the only other one we can play in set 1.0. So this is the only one we're using. So it's called Freemon. Um, uh, during your turn, if you have two, if your opponent has two or more rested Digimon, plus 2k. This is really good for our opener for the combo, and that's pretty much why we're playing it. We want to get as big as we can early and get smaller as the turn goes on. And you'll see what I mean by that whenever we get to the combo, because I'll try to explain it the best way I can. But uh, we only play four of this. If you want to play Tanemon, that's up to you. I don't personally like it, and I don't recommend it. Um, uh, I just, I'm... I'm sold on the fact of four Digitama instead of five. Because, like, until, and I've said this in the last video, until we get Digitama that could be better than the ones we already have and use the ones we already have as backup and feel comfortable about it, not be in the mindset of, like, well, I'll play it just in case I need a fifth one. Like, we don't need to be in that mindset. We need to be in the mindset, like, we're playing this because we need it, not because we might need it, you know? But, anyways... We are going down to our rookies. First rookie we have is a 4 of of Goblimon. He's our vanilla, 0 to evolve, 2 cost to play. Really good efficiency. Um, there's nothing really else to it. Uh, the next card we are playing is Agamon. Um, 0 to evolve, 3 cost to play, 1000 DP. This is basically a green clone of the starter deck Agamon for red. 1000 DP during your turn. Um, if I'm not mistaken in the series, uh, Taiga, Taiga has an Agumon that eventually turns into a Rest Tyranimon, if I'm not mistaken. So that's where that comes in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, um, so you guys could probably read this better. Um, so yeah, uh, Agumon, just, just a good staple. I really like it anyway, so we're playing it. Um, the next one we're playing is a 2 of of Palmon. Palmon, whenever it enters... We reveal the top three. Um, we add a level four from it to our hand, put the rest on the bottom in any order. Um, this is our on played, and the reason we have a 2 2 split of these two rookies that we're looking at now is because I really like the Kokuomon, but the Palmon is good for consistency purposes. It gets us to our level four Digimon if we really, really need to. Um, so that's why I'm playing the two of of Palmon. The next one is Koku. Oh gosh, Kokuamon. Um, now, originally I was playing four of these, and I found an inconsistency issue with it. Basically, to evolve it, it is one, and it's four to hard play it. It feels really, really bad playing it in general, but this is one of the pieces of that combo I was talking about. It gives us security attack plus one, as long as the Digimon is level six or higher. So basically, when we get to our Rust Tyranimon, he's got security attack two instead of one. So it makes the combo go by a lot faster. Instead of having your opponent have a lot of cards on the battlefield, we'll end up only needing three to finish it out and close the game. Um, moving on to our level fours, we have the Kabuterimon. Um, during my during your turn, every one, for every one of your opponents rested, it gets 1,000 power. So again, it falls under the... Um, Digitama and the Agumon, like we want this thing to be big at the beginning and we want it to get smaller as the turn progresses and this is one of those cards that actually do that for us. On top of which, this card is better than, in my opinion, a Togemon because it is one to evolve and that is the most important thing about this card. Um, like the 5000 DP is normal, like uh, champions level 4s normally have that. The 6 cost of play feels real bad. I'm not even going to lie there. It feels awful. It's up there with the ultimates, like the vanilla ultimates. However, that one to evolve is very important in this deck because we're able to, if they pass with two, we're able to go Kuwalamon, Kabuterimon, and our Digitama zone into an ultimate. And like if we get the whole combo off, our opponent won't even know what's about to happen. 
So there's Kawagwan. Uh, the next one is our Woodmon. Woodmon is our generic blocker. Uh, 6k, 5 cost to play, 2 to evolve. Um, just generic. We have to have blockers. Blockers are important in the game, and we don't have many of them. So we're playing him. Um, I like... Uh, even when the new blockers come out for the starter deck in set 4, I still like these, even though the other ones cost one less to play, because these have 6,000 DP, and if I'm not mistaken, the other ones have 5,000 DP. And I could be wrong, and I apologize if I'm wrong. Um, just leave it in the comments, let me know I'm wrong, I will accept that. But I do like the old blockers more than the new blockers. Um, next, we have Tyranomon. Tyranomon is in here as a 4 cost to play. We're hardly ever going to hard cast him. We're only going to digivolve him because of his skill. Um, 4,000 DP. When we digivolve him, we reveal the top 3 cards. We can add 1 level 5 Digimon and 1 green tamer from among them to our hands. We're playing this over Togemon for 2 reasons. Our tamer works with Tyranomon Digimon. The second reason is it gets us to, uh, the level 5 like the Togemon will. So it does two things for us instead of one thing like the Togemon would do. And that's why we're playing this Tyranomon. Um, like any Tyranomon name in green, we have to play. And when I get to the Tamer, you'll understand if you don't know how this deck works. But this adds the consistency to the combo what we're trying to get to. Uh, next up, we're playing Metal Tyranomon. His uh, 2 to evolve, 7 cost to play, 6,000 DP. Um, we're only going to be evolving him again. Like, hard casting these ultimates is never, never ever going to be a thing. Um, believe it or not, this is more of a, like, it, we're including the Metal Tyranomon because of the Tamer. However, like, I wish he had a different inheritable ability. I will not lie to you, I wish he did. Because I want to play the Uwa-Amon, but I can't. Um, Metal Tyranomon, Inheritable Skill, your turn. If it destroys an opponent's level 6 or more Digimon by battle, you can activate that Digimon again. So basically, you can go swing at a Digimon, hit it, stand it back up, swing again. And that's that's pretty good. Like, I do very much enjoy the rest or the Metal Tyranomon um, for that ability. But however, with Rest Tyranomon's power being super low, and it's hard to get his power really high unless you have the right rookie for it, it just feels really bad. Um, next up, we have Uwaamon or Okuamon. Um, two to evolve, seven cost to play, six thousand DP. Exactly the same as Metal Tyranomon. Now it's not as good as Metal Tyranomon because of the Tamer. However, its inheritable ability is so much better. So for an inheritable ability. Uh, this When this Digimon destroys an opponent's Digimon by battle plus one memory, this allows our combo to consistently keep going without passing our turn to our opponent. Um, but even if our combo doesn't finish, we can set something up for the next turn to keep our opponent from killing us um, too quickly. So like this is one, like if we don't have the combo, this will allow us to swing uh, once, maybe twice, just depending just to get some memory so we can play something for cheap and get started again. Um, I'll come back to Terra Cluster. Um, finally, we have our level 6s. We have Rust Tyranomon, 13 cost to play, 4 to evolve. Now, the 4 to evolve feels really bad. I think he's the most expensive green card. Uh, or, no. Rosemon, Hercules Kabuterimon, Rust Tyranomon, all of them are 4 cost. Everything past set 2 um, that we're getting in set 1.5... All that stuff is cheaper to play because of their mechanics. Rust Tyranomon costs four, and I'll keep saying it, the Tamer is what makes this deck good. If you don't get the Tamer, it feels awful. You're not doing very much with it. It's bad. So, like, if you're playing a match where you can mulligan, I know there's some tournaments where people allow mulligans, you want to make sure you get that Tamer, whether the security has it or you have it. You want to make sure you have it. Because if you don't have one of the Tamers, the combo will not work. Um, anyways, moving past all that. Uh, during your turn, if you have a green Tamer, this Digimon can attack your opponent's active Digimon. Meaning, like, if they decide, oh, I'm not going to attack, they don't get away from it. You're still swinging at them. And like I said, you have all these cards to boost power. The Agumon puts it at 12. The Kabuterimon, the more Digimon they have, the bigger he gets. The starter, or the Digitama, would put him and the Agumon together, 
will put him at 14k, almost enough to clash with a uh, Omnimon. So just keep that in mind. Uh, during your turn, uh, the second ability, during your turn, if your opponent's Digimon is destroyed by battle, by this Digimon, rest one of your opponent's Digimon. So you're able to swing at something that's small to get bigger because you're resting stuff to get that extra ability. Um, next up, we're playing a four of of Titanmon. Yes, most decks do have Hercules Kabuterimon in the forefront. I do want to say that Titanmon is a great backup because he's cheap to evolve. And if you can't get the Rust Tyranomon out, at least you have the Titanmon to be able to evolve for cheap and get the combo off that way if you absolutely have to. I'm not saying, like, don't play Rust Tyranomon. Normally, your Rust Tyranomon is going to cost two to evolve in the first place. Um, I, I've seen, on average, it either costs two or three to evolve instead of four because of the Tamer. Um, but, yeah, Titanmon, I've just found, like, it's more consistent, less Evo points to you, or less memory to evolve him. So that's the whole reason I'm playing Titanmon. You don't have to play him, however. You can play Hercules Kabuterimon. I would say Hercules Kabuterimon is a better Digimon, or Rosemon even. Rosemon's not even bad. It forces your opponent, if they want to swing at you, to rest stuff down so you can get the combo off. I'm not saying either one of those is bad. I just like being able to evolve it for cheap to get my combo off, because if I can't get the combo off, my opponent's going to kill me the next turn. Because I focused everything on one Digimon. Um, next up is our Tamer. We have Taiga. Um, three cost to play. Security put the card in play. Um, during your turn, Digimon who contains Tyranomon in their name get piercing. The important part to note about this, when I first started playing this deck, I, for some odd reason my brain was like, this only works with Rust Tyranomon. No. It works with the Tyranomon. It works with the Metal Tyranomon. And it works with Rust Tyranomon. So we're able to keep Rookie Rush at bay as we're playing by swinging at them and still getting security checks. It is really good against Rookie Rush. However, like I said, and I'll say it again, you have to have the Tamer. Without the Tamer, you are in a very bad predicament in most cases. Um, the other ability is during your turn, if you would Digivolve into a Digimon whose name contains Tyranomon, you can rest it to reduce the Digivolution cost by one. What this means is our Tyranomon and our Metal Tyranomon can cost two, or if we have one Taiga, one, or two Taigas, it could cost zero. Um, with Rust Tyranomon, of course, like we'd have to have all four of them to make it free, um, but it at least reduces the cost so it doesn't feel as bad. Um, but yeah, most important card in the deck, you cannot change my mind. Um, next up, I'm going to go over the option cards. We have Terror Cluster. I'm playing a 3 of of Terror Cluster, right? I enjoy this card. This is the card that allows us to get rid of our opponent's Digimon. Kind of like a Trump Sword. It's the opposite of Trump Sword. Um, it's a Kyosis Breath mixed with a opposite Trump Sword, I guess. Anyways, you, uh, the security check, you activate the main effect. It's 7 cost to play. You return one of your opponent's rested Digimon to the bottom of their deck. And all their Digivolution sources get discarded. So basically when they swing with something that has a big security attack, we can bounce it back. The only thing I've noticed about this is it does not deal with the Omnimon deck. If they're playing the Gallantmon, they've already got rid of some of your um, uh, Digivolution sources beforehand. If you're playing against the War Greymon in Omnimon, he makes these useless. If you're playing, if it's the Omnimon, they can activate themselves, and when you turn it over and the Omnimon activated itself, you can't push it back. So keep that in mind playing this card. Like, if you don't want to play this card, I would recommend, like, start taking these out for. Gosh. Um, maybe to put a. One of of Patamon, a one of of another champion level, and then another one of of like maybe Lilymon, for example, um, just to add some consistency to the deck to get your combos off. So, like I said, um, one more Palamon, you could add a Togemon for consistency purchases, and you could add a Lilymon over these Terror Clusters. But I like being able to eliminate whatever's there when I can, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, moving on, and I did not do this the right way, so let me 
Let me fix this for you guys. Finally, we have Dimension Scissors, and this is the combo piece. Not a combo piece, the combo piece. So basically, for three memory, we give one of our Digimon. When this Digimon destroys an opponent's Digimon by battle, make this Digimon active until the end of turn. So basically, uh, oh, security effect, we can add this to our hand. So even if it gets checked on security, we know we can have the combo piece in our hand. So essentially what you need to make this combo work is Dimension Scissors in your hand, a Taiga on the battlefield, and we want to rest Tyranomon or a Titanmon on the battlefield. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take the Titanmon and we're going to go swing, right? Kill your Digimon. Well, it's going to stand up because of Dimension Scissors. And then we're going to go, cool, swing. All right. With Titanmon, all we're really doing with it is basically just killing all of our opponent's Digimon, right? With Rust Tyranomon, however, and having Piercing on Taiga, we're going swing at any Digimon because he can attack unactive. With Pierce, so we're hitting the security stack. If we get Kuwakamon, we're able to give him security attack plus one. So we're going to swing at a Digimon, hit two security. Security didn't check anything good. Cool. We're going to stand back up and do it again. We're going to stand back up and do it again. And like, as <sighs> the only problems I've seen is hitting Psychosis Breath, hitting um, opponents' uh, um, hammers, and that's why I'm playing the Uwakamon, hitting uh, Gaia Force, hitting Trump Sword. Because you have to activate the Digimon. At, wait. Yeah, it's after the Digimon is destroyed, so it gets destroyed and then you pierce, is how the rules work. So it's not like all of it happens and then you stand back up, it's you kill the Digimon, you stand back up, you check the security. So keep that in mind. Option cards suck against him. You want to have a high power total because he's really weak compared to some of the other ones. Like War Greymon and Metal Garurumon, I think, are 13 and 12, respectively. I could be wrong on the Metal Garurumon. It might be 13, actually. Uh, you got Leopardmon is 13. You have Black Blockers all have 11, so, like, their champion or their level 6s will be able to clash with you. All the Vanillas are 12K, so they clash with you. So you want to make sure you can get it as big as possible so you don't die to them. Because this isn't like discarding security. This is actually hitting the security stack. So keep that in mind. But overall, this is the deck list. This is Rust Tyranomon Green Combo. Um, like I said, the combo would be Freemon into Kawagamon into Kabuterimon. Or, yeah, just Kabuterimon. Then you would want Uwakamon and then Rust Tyranomon. Or Metal Tyranomon, Rust Tyranomon with a Taiga and a Dimension Scissors. That's the perfect combo. You get huge, your opponent can't do anything, and it's like, cool, well, guess I'll die. So, um, that's it. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like and comment. Tell me what your thoughts are on the deck and let me know a deck that you guys would like to see. Um, hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber helps me. You guys have been fantastic on my videos. Thank you so, so much. Um... But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.